Hello friend, how how are you? My name is Soman. I'm back once again with one more video. So today's topic uh, I would like to say about the weather in Halifax. So as you guys know, like you know, I got my PR and I came here in Nova Scotia, Halifax, and it's almost uh, five months now. Earlier I used to be in Toronto for four years. So in Canada overall I'm like you no know, almost four and a half years. So what I'd like to share with you guys, like you know, uh, what I have seen as of now, whoever is considering for Canada after getting their PR, uh, they are mostly considering like you know for either uh, Toronto or Vancouver or Montreal, all these big cities. But uh, I hardly heard about Halifax. If someone is considering about Halifax or no. So, uh, but what I'd like to say was. So this this place is quite nice friend okay this is a very good place and uh, there are lots of pros and cons obviously each space or each city has their own pros and cons uh, so i would maybe i would share some of the pros and some of the cons about halifax in some other video but today i would like to show you guys the weather right so today right now i'm walking uh, and it's almost 7 uh, december 7 2023 it's a winter month and everywhere in Canada, uh, like you know, be it or either Vancouver or Toronto, everywhere it is snowing. Friend, it is snowing very badly everywhere. And everywhere the temperature is almost minus 10 or minus 15 or minus 20, something like that. So in those places, I, I can tell you, you cannot walk comfortably, right? You, you can walk, like you know, if you need to go to your work or somewhere, like you know, uh, you can walk but uh, it's not that comfortable like you know right now I'm walking on the street of Halifax so this is Halifax basically and uh, I'm not feeling um, uncomfortable friend if you have been in Kashmir or Simla or like let's say Nainital those places during the month of November or December similar kind of weather is here so today it is 9 degrees centigrade outside so you see like you now whole Canada is knowing and it's under cold weather or cold warning. Yesterday I heard a news like you know someone uh, someone caught the frostbite um, in Yellowknife that's the northwestern part of Canada right that, that, that lady she ran out of her uh, house because of some fire hazard and she forgot to like you know put on her sandal or the shoes and it was minus 50 degree outside and immediately like you no know, she caught the frostbite and she is in hospital right now so it is it is everywhere in the in the news channel so so it so i'm just telling you this uh, like you know just to give you the idea uh, about how cold it is in other parts of canada but in halifax you you guys uh, you you can see like you know i'm shooting this video uh, like you know uh, i'll upload this video into youtube and I'm talking to you guys comfortably, like you know, although I'm equipped with jackets and all, obviously if you need to walk in the winter, you need to be well prepared or well equipped. But thing is that if I if I like to walk or if I need to go somewhere, if I don't have a car, then also it's not a problem because the weather is very good here. Okay, in the month of December, I'm walking and with a with a big smile on my face i never have imagined in in uh, in toronto i was there for four years so it is when it is snowing in toronto it looks good right it looks white everywhere and a uh, few uh, the first initial days you will feel like you know you are in heaven or like you know wonderland some kind of thing but the problem is once that period is gone right 10 15 days or maybe one month then you will be feeling bored, like you know, you will be stuck at home. Uh, you will not feel much comfortable, and it is it is very cold outside. You cannot stand outside for a longer period, a longer time. And 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 if you have kids, most importantly, if you have kids, then it is very much difficult for you guys, like you know, to adopt that cold weather. So in comparison of that, if I see Halifax is far better, like you know, in terms of weather. So it's it's not that cold, and uh, since it's a uh, seashore area like you know we have atlantic sea here right so it's a seashore area so the, the weather is not predictable but the good part is it's not that cold okay here also you will see snow uh, lots of snow will happen here also 
but comparatively with other places in Canada, this place is not that cold. It is a warm place. So in Canada, if you are getting a warm place, that like you know, that's a, that's that's a uh, that's a biggest news to me. Like you know, that's a better news for me. Like you know, anyone like you know, who whoever is coming to Canada for the very first time. So that's why I would like to say, like you know, you guys can consider Halifax or Nova Scotia. You can Google it more. You can YouTube. Uh, lots of videos are already available uh, for uh, Nova Scotia or Halifax. I will upload sequential pros and cons regarding Halifax and Nova Scotia. But this weather should be one of the thing. If you guys are coming to Canada for very first time, and if you have never faced uh, the like you know cold weather in your life, like me, before I came to Canada in the year of 2016. I never have faced like no I never experienced that cold in my life in my life the most coldest part was minus 3 degree uh, but the the day when I landed here that day it was minus 25 degree so so if you are coming to Canada for very first time and if you have never experienced cold in your life then uh, I, I can suggest like you know you can you can consider Halifax for your landing point and maybe you can you can spend one year or a couple of years here and once you are habituated with the weather, you are accustomed with the weather, then probably you can move to a big cities like Montreal or Toronto or something like that. And especially if you have kids, then it would be like you know, very easy for you, you know, to adopt the Canadian weather. Anyway, so for today, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching my video and keep watching my channel. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thank you.